Hey, shalom citizens of YouTube scattered abroad. Yes, we are back again in South Carolina at the undisclosed location. Building trust is trying to finish it up. We got a massive amount of cutting we're trying to do. It requires a lot of cutting. And think about straightways, we actually build our own trusses. We don't pay somebody else to build them. We try to cut expenses at all costs, as much as we can. Got brother Brandon trying to crown the boards. Brother Brandon, go ahead and describe and tell the people on YouTube that aren't really familiar with building, what are you looking for when you crown a board? Um, well, so far what I've learned, um, well, what I've been learning, when you're looking for a crown, um, I mean, it's kind of like a, a crown. You want to see, you know, where, where it gets bulges out at the top. Mm -hmm. um, and just from what I've been learning is you want the bulge, you know, you want the crown to be on top. That way when you put it together and the weight comes down, it'll straighten it out. So you want to okay. make sure that uh, whenever you find that crown, you know, that's that's where you're going to make your cuts. You know, so with us building the trusses, they have to come together like a like a triangle almost. So your crown, where that point is going to be at, is going to be on the top so that when it comes together, the way to straighten it out. Okay, okay. Now what if, so you got a cut. Let's say on this part right here, if there's a split in the wood, there's a cork. Let me get in the video. <laughs> Do you cut that in? What do you do with that? Do you uh, save no. it? Uh, you actually want to uh, avoid corks, cracks, and uh, and uh, uh, you know things like that. You want to avoid okay. those things. You don't want that to be. Uh, you want that to be on the ends. You know that you have to cut off from 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 what I've been learning. All right, so they don't split. You right. want that to yeah, be the majority exactly. of where you cut off, so exactly. you don't use it. All right, yeah, that, yes, that makes sense. So that's what you've learned so far. Well, uh, that's just one of many. One of many things. <laughs> one, one of many. What else have you learned? Um, really, on this part, precision is everything. Um, really, uh, like you say, we want to cut down costs as, as much as possible. Um, so everything has to be on point. You have to check two and three times mm -hmm. before you make a cut because, as Elder Becker said, wood, after you cut it, the wood doesn't grow. <laughs> you can't put it back on. You can't add to it. Right. It's not like block where you can actually add more right. to it. Exactly. You, you can't do that anymore. Right. Once it's done, it's cut. So that's the main thing I've learned, just precision, man. Precision. Yeah. Attention to detail, right? Yeah, attention Measuring to detail. twice. Yeah. Yep. Three exactly. Three times if you have to. Three times if you have to. Yep. Yep. But that's what we got going on today. We're trying to finish up these trusses. Like I said, we got an incredible amount of cutting to do. And uh, I know what y'all probably out thinking out there is, man, when do these people ever get any rest? They're always working. But I think, you know, we'll get rest when the king returns. As a matter of fact, how we see it is there's going to be a time, or a matter of fact, I should say a night, that's going to come. And no man is going to work. And what you have is what you got. Right. Right. You want to be able to develop, grow, build, and that's it. So I think at the end of the day, you should meditate. Think about your involvement and the things you're trying to accomplish. Is there any more room for sacrifice? I mean, matter of fact, look at Brandon. This is just an example. All right. I'm going to use him as an example. You don't have to follow his example. His examples are personal to the individual. Right. All right. But brother Brandon comes out here at the crack of dawn every day. Leaves at two o'clock. Uh, you left at like what? Two o'clock yesterday. Yeah. Right. A little after two o'clock. Mm -hmm. All right. Go to work at what? Three o'clock. All right. Get off around twelve to one. Maybe sometimes later. Right. Right. Yes, sir. So my question is, when does this man ever get sleep? But when you're motivated, you're driven. You will. It'll overcome natural desires of sleep, and you just right. you have a desire, a passion, something you want to accomplish, and you have the will to sacrifice. Yes, sir. So my question is, what is your will to sacrifice? What are you willing to give up to lose in order to gain? So uh, bless y'all saints out there. Shalom.